Still walking out. I'm in shambles. Ow. Kind of makes me want to throw up a little bit. <laughs> Ew, no, don't lick your dirt. Bone up, let's eat it. Thanks for tuning in. Sedona, home of the spiritual red rocks that have led many on a journey of healing and self-exploration. We found ourselves becoming transformed by the breathtaking surroundings as well. No camera will capture that. That is actually Zelda, I think. Wow. It's just too awesome. <laughs> the purple sunsets and red ground uplifted our spirits and made us feel that we were getting the hang of our new lifestyle. This was our first destination where we had no direction, no plans, and no deadlines to press forward in our journey. We could finally relax and just live in the moment. We were able to find our first campsite near Schnelby Hill. We were pretty sure we hit the jackpot with this spot. Someone even left a perfect hand-built fire pit behind for others to get a little joy from. Even though I gave myself the worst strain back of my life at this site, the views were able to distract me from my self-inflicted injury. After several days here, we had ventured into Sedona and the views just kept getting more beautiful. We were able to find our next home in Cococino National Forest. This was our first campsite we settled in for 14 days, and it was perfect, because it was a short distance from all the awesome biking and hiking. With fun only a short distance away, we took full advantage. Sedona is known for its world-class mountain biking trails, such as High Line, Hangover, and the famously dangerous White Line. Since I can make green trails look like they are extremely difficult, whoa, 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 whoa. all right, you all right? Got it. We decided to stay away from the deadly trails this time, but instead put the F-U-N in fundamentals. Yeah, this is awesome. With gaining new tech skills on easy to moderate trails. This terrain is completely different than anything I have ridden. Bryce, on the other hand, has way more experience under his belt with this terrain. Strike pose. Work it, work it, work it. Mm, mm, mm. Strike that hip out. Yeah, hip, hip, hip. <laughs> And it was a wake-up call to be alert at all times since a fall has a high consequence that can include cactus or an unenjoyable roll down a 50-foot plus ledge. <laughs> edge is so scared. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see on camera. Lots of stuff like this to fall into. I did my best. <laughs> yeah, so here's the trail we're riding. Pretty much the whole left side is like this exposure. Bike path. 20 feet, if you roll off that, maybe another 20 feet. It's only cactuses and stuff to fall on. It's pretty though. I enjoyed quite a few of them, but the Black Diamond technical chunk stuff for Jen has been like green trail is fun, blue is a lot of features she can't do, and black is crying. So it's made it interesting and slow, but this is, this is good for both of us. One thing we were fortunate to have gained was a newfound confidence on sketchy downhill sections. That's pretty wicked. Easy. We also gained confidence to skip features that could be a borderline hospitalization. Okay, I don't, I'm, I'm okay swallowing my pride. I will walk it. <laughs> I think I'll just walk it. Okay, that's a good idea. Another important lesson we learned about these unforgiving trails was to always have a spare tire, and the one around your waist is not going to help you in a flat tire situation. I did it. It's a new form of mountain biking. It's a little more intimate. Doing the walk of shame right now because we do not bring extra tire things. Here's Jen on. Sedona tire blowout number two. Just making good time. Don't block the trail, man. 
Getting after it. Same positive. Still walking out. I'm in shambles. Thank the Lord. I've never been happier to see a parking lot. I've never been so happy to make it somewhere. And now, we wait for Bryce. Luckily, we were only three miles from the trailhead and that it was considered winter here in Sedona. Here's a token of my favor for rescuing me. Thank you. <laughs> Accepted. <laughs> we can't wait to bike here with our friends in the future and get to experience the joys of conquering a hard feature to the misery of hike a bike with them. I know you are probably thinking, poor Kane, he must be bored sitting like a people while waiting for his humans to come back from their endless bike rides. But don't worry, he got to experience some spectacular hikes. He showed off his mountain goat skills while hiking an unexpected black diamond hike. You could tell he felt like he was on top of the world when he hiked up Doe Mountain. Everyone and their dog should see a sunset from a whimsical vista at least once in their lifetime. There is only one consequence of hiking at sunset, and that is the sun sets and darkness settles in. Another hike we tackled was the Devil's Bridge. You ready? And I have to say, this hike takes the magic out of your final destination due to the crowds and lines just to walk across the arch. <laughs> But if you want to see it for yourself and not want that glorified Instagram photo, then I would still experience it. I would assume seeing it at sunrise would be prime time for this hike to get the optimal lighting and to beat all the crowds. It also didn't help we did the hike on Thanksgiving. Speaking of Thanksgiving, did you know it's possible to cook a full Thanksgiving meal in just two hours in a van? Hurry up already. Why isn't it done? Kane's completely pooped from a big hike. <laughs> Me either, until I tried. We didn't want to miss out on Brussels sprouts, mashed potatoes with gravy, turkey, and best of all, stuffing. It was a Thanksgiving that will live on forever. This is Kane's Thanksgiving meal. There look, it is. Look at his face, he's so excited. Oh, he's been, he's, he's shaking. <laughs> he is shaking for it. Do you want to eat, Angie? You ready for Thanksgiving? At 8.13 for you. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a big meal for a big boy. Job well done. I made Thanksgiving dinner in a van. Look at that. And I've never ever made Thanksgiving dinner. My God, in like two hours. Hey, we're not eating at 10 p.m. This is impressive. This is, it's only 8.30, so bon appetit. Thank you. Not only was Thanksgiving a special moment in our van, but we got another one a few days later with getting to celebrate Kane's seventh birthday. But it's cheaper to get two than buy one. It's so stupid. Look at this. Oh. Four dollars for two. Okay, well he, he wants it. Or it's four dollars for one. I guess I'll get two. <laughs> get me off in here. Many options for activities. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. 
Oh, that's gone. Wow, he's getting to be such an old man. But he will always be our big BB boy. <laughs> oh! Since we stayed in Sedona for over a month, we found all the places to fulfill our errands. And one major task we crossed off our list was finding a tall enough car wash. It's been a constant issue. You now we can't get in the car wash. We did it without me knowing. Poor little guy. This is one of Bryce's favorite pastime activities. I have never seen such focus and technique when washing a vehicle. And we're very lucky our van is red to camouflage the red dirt that has engulfed our vehicle. But you can tell over time that the red becomes a little dull. Washing it so it can get dirty again. Look at the shine. How do you feel? Much better. Yay! I cannot stand having my vehicles disgustingly dirty. Only your women. Uh, go, go, go! Okay, yep, you made it. We also found quickly not only washing our van is important, but washing yourself and everything around you is needed way too often because the red micro floating sand is not shy to latch on and call you home for eternity. Don't forget Kane. Oh, there you go, sorry. Gotta pay the tax. <laughs> you may think I'm tan, but let's see how much earth self toner I've used. Quite a lot. Gross. Getting this gross? Yeah. <laughs> that mug clean. And that's game. Ew, no, don't lick your dirt. Watch the magic of a clean floor. <laughs> This red sand is in everything. Oh my god, it's so, so gross. Like, look at this. You can see where our foot steps on the cooler to get in the bed. Oh, oh. that's so gross. We're gonna have to wash all this stuff. This is one thing that I didn't anticipate for some reason. <laughs> yeah, and having a dirty dog that just drags all this stuff in too. All right, well, we're at the laundry today, needing a, taking a much needed reset. Guess what we get a reset with? A resort. Oh, yay! We get showers! I'm so, I'm so excited! I mean, we've been showering, but we haven't had a real shower in three weeks. Yeah, we're pumped for hot water. Yeah, I'm a little dirty. We were saved from the red dirt when our friends were so kind to gift us two nights at a resort for an early Christmas present. We will never be able to thank them enough. So thank you, thank you a million times over and over again. Since we had some mechanical issues and our heat has been a little lacking, leaving Kane to have some luxury sleeping nights, we were so excited to have separate sleeping quarters from him. This is how we accommodate our sleeping arrangements. Baby boy has swallowed up my sleeping area. So I sleep down here now. Sometimes he gets too hot. <laughs> <laughs> like last night. Yeah. We worry about him being too cold and he's actually too hot. Our diesel heater finally broke. I'm dipping it along. I just got an error code 08 which is, I haven't looked it up, I guess, yet, but just constant issues with this thing. It's just been overheating nonstop, and now it just blew out a bunch of black soot at elevation, and it's probably from running it on low. So, I don't know. It wouldn't run on anything higher than the lowest setting. So, I, I don't know, I'm very confused. I'm gonna have to do some more research. The only one that this is benefiting right now 
is that guy. The other thing we were overly ecstatic about was good old hot pressurized water. I'm so excited to be clean. This resort was crazy, and we definitely did not feel like we belonged. The room was so spacious that it had its own fireplace, balcony, and best of all, two queen-size beds. So we can all be happy. Kane got his own bed. That's what you needed. Some vacation. Wasn't getting enough sleep, sleeping 16 hours a night. Good boy. Oh. It had way too many options of water to relax in. It had a complete indoor and outdoor gym, along with a variety of spa options. And it had a cute little dog-friendly restaurant attached. The hot tub was exactly what we both needed, since we both have been injured for way too long. Definitely warm. Bryce is really gonna miss this place. Yeah, I miss having a tub. This is nice. <laughs> Bryce used to take baths every night uh, in our old house. Some yeah. may say that's weird, but I think it's normal now. Can't do that living in a van. <laughs> no, it's been really good having a hot tub. Oh, especially because I strained my back really bad. And showers, but. Today we'll go back to reality. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We like our reality. <laughs> Some days. After an abundance amount of hot tub dips, we said goodbye to luxury and headed back to our home in the parking lot. With being refreshed and rejuvenated, we were ready to take a clean cane back out for more adventure. To follow the trend of our relaxation, we decided to check out the Palatki Heritage Site and see the ancient cliff dwellings and rock art. It was so neat to see structures that were built around 1100 CE and hear about how they chose the spot under a cliff ledge to provide temperature regulation, as well as to be hidden while also seeing everything around them. It was also interesting to see the petroglyphs they used to document their stories and beliefs. We were glad to stop for a moment and soak in what life must have been like for them. The next day, we didn't want to kill ourselves biking on one of the most dangerous bike trails in the world. So we decided to hike it, because we wanted to see what all the fuss was about with our own eyes. So we are currently doing the Chapel Trail. Uh, we wanted to see the, the white line before we uh, left Sedona. It's our last day in Sedona. Yeah, and uh, no biking for us. Thanks to uh, that guy right there. Okay, let's come in a little closer. Yeah. Kane, Kane you want to say something? You want to say how you go like this all night long and pierce you with those all night long? Yeah, it's been brutal. With our heater broke and 30 degree nights, he's had to sleep with us and he's just kept us both up. So it's just, we're super sleep deprived for a couple of days in a row now. Even though we just came back from the resort. Yeah, we did have a vacation. He was still there though. It so, didn't help because I my, strained my back and the mattress sucked, but it was the amenities. Yeah, we're just downers. But anyway, so I'm <laughs> just trying to make the best of it and see this trail and hike through some of this stuff. It's so beautiful. And, um, and imagining we're on a bike for this black diamond climb. So, yeah, look at her go. En envision the bike. weird. <laughs> yeah, these are straight up alien planet stuff. Some sort of weed here, but they're, they're all around the bike pass. And it, if you can't tell, like everything here, they just have pain and death ridden all over them. So here's a monster one you gotta avoid.
Your legs good, look great. Thank you. Wow, look at those quads. You work out? Only on climbs. <laughs> We're at the beginning of the white line. And that's where we were. I took the roundabout way. <laughs> wow, the white line is so much bigger than... It's like totally walking. Just be careful. And the fuss was correct. This is a very dangerous trail. I am like trembling, so I can't imagine being on a bike and being there. That's like, kind of makes me want to throw up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like my legs gave up. Oh my God. You could totally like go on top, but that hump, like you're just like then, there's really no safety net if you. No. That, that's the starting line. Yeah, all those people are like, oh, oh, I'm famous now, I went up it. <laughs> I'm in so many people's pictures. Everyone's gawking at Chicken Point, they're jealous. They can't walk up here. Okay, ready? Let's go to the slide. It doesn't help that I literally have zero traction on the bottom of my shoes. <laughs> or else I think it would be totally doable to hike it. All right. After seeing and shakily walking on part of the white line, we headed out of Sedona and towards the Phoenix area to see some friends. Come join us as we settle in Phoenix for the first time and get to experience more desert. We can't wait to see you then. Continue your ritual.